What up, Bean Gang? It's a bonus motherfucking beans. It's a bonus 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 beans. Bonus beans. It be bonus. Bonus beans. Bonus. Bonus. This is some extra shit that a motherfucker named Will Peacock paid for. Yo. This is a bonus beans. Uh, what up, Sam? Thank you. Uh, welcome to have you back. Thankful Hello. to have you back. You're very beautiful as always. Thank you so much uh, for having me. I was calling her pretty a second ago, and I said, "Do you like it?" Because I call her pretty all. I call her pretty a couple times a day. He does. And I said, "Do you like it when I call you pretty?" And then what'd you say, Sam? I said, "I do." And then what'd you say? Then you asked me if I like it all the time. I said, "Really, all the time?" And I said, "Sometimes it's a little condescending." When is it condescending? And I said, he knows when it's condescending. <laughs> I disagree. Uh, <laughs> but you are very beautiful, especially Thank in the you. morning. Thank you. Um, it's the afternoon. It is the afternoon. We're going natural light again, baby, because the light boxes don't get here till Monday. It said Wednesday, actually. Even better. So even more natural light episodes for you guys. Well, I hope you like it, because it's what you got to deal with in the meantime. I think it looks better in the natural light. It does look good, but I like the light. I like just having a light so I don't have to worry about uh, beating, we racing the time, sun. We have time, yeah. Yeah, and uh, also, uh, like, if it rains. You guys should go back and watch the, um, what's the one we did? One of the first ones we did when we were outside. Training day. Training day, yeah, because as we're doing it, the sun is setting. So you see it get darker. It just gets darker and darker yeah. throughout the episode. Also, there's like birds and squirrels and shit behind us. That's it's pretty great, rad, actually. That's a great episode if you like training day or nature. Yeah. Either one, that's for you. Uh, but yeah, we, we're doing the damn thing in the natural light today, dog. We got to do what we got. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And that's what we're doing right now. Uh, bonus beans. God, it's excited to be back here on a Saturday. It is. Uh, today is March. It's the beginning of March Madness. I have Sam fill out the bracket this I morning. I did. Who did you pick to win? Do you remember? Um, nope. I remember. Clemson? Yeah. Sam picked Clemson to win it all. I'm saying it now so that way if he wins, you're on record. Oh, cool. That you called it. I, I, I just like the logos, the different mm-hmm. ones. I, I picked-, picked Texas. Only we're because here. we're here, and, I, f- and I'm, I feel like we're bringing them good juju, and I found out that they're really good. They're actually okay. ranked, like, number three. They you had them go pretty far in your Yeah, they're bracket. pretty good for pretty far. I even let them beat Maryland, I think. You did. Which I didn't want to, but... But you went off how you feel? I went off the rankings and how I feel, and we're here. Because you didn't completely go off the rankings, because Clemson's ranked seven, and you had them winning the whole thing. So you did go off some feel. Yeah, it was all genuine feel. Yeah. I'll feel with me. I'm an all feel person. You're an all feel lady. Yeah, I had Texas win in mind, so we'll see. It was fun to do it with you. Though. I just wanted to say that, though, so it's on record. Um, Sam. Yes. What happens on Bonus Beans? Do you know? Why, why do we do these now? So how, Bonus how does this Beans become? is a special, it's a special kind of episode. And why is it so special? It's special because one of the Beans made this episode possible. He's produced it. He produced it. He, he said, it. you know what? I want to see an episode with this movie. In particular. And in particular. And I can't wait for them to just naturally get to it. I have to make it happen today. <laughs> or will they ever get to it? Also, you're worried. You're like, maybe they don't get to it. Maybe, maybe they won't Garrett ever get to it. doesn't even know about this movie. Which, these first two bonus beans, by the way, uh, paid for and brought to you by Will Peacock. Back-to-back Will Peacock. This, he started this whole thing. He started this whole thing, this motherfucker. So I'm, I let him drink it and have back-to-back. You know what yeah. I mean? Back-to-back. Got the Will Peacock episodes going back-to-back. Back to back. You know what I mean? So we did it for my boy. But... I want to just say really quick, thank you to all of the Bean Mafia. You guys showed up. You guys showed up. When I said this uh, a Saturday ago, like, oh, I'll do an extra episode for you guys, 100 bucks. You pay 100 bucks, mm-hmm. you can pick whatever movie you want, whatever movie you want, and I will do that movie for you. And, and then also, and for the rest of the Bean Mafia, they now get three episodes a week. So it's a, it's a win for everybody. Everyone wins. You know? They win for me, win for you guys, it's a win for everyone. And then you get to, you know, own the episode. It's like yours. It's like, yo, I, you want to listen we'll to an episode name. Dedica- dedicated to me, Will Peacock? Go listen to Sing Street. Now go listen to this episode. Uh, and that's so cool. You guys fucking showed up in a way I didn't expect. Like, we're 11 of you, immediately. Within, immediately. within like four or five days, 11 of you bought an episode. So we're... I mean, we're booked out for a while. But again, if you, and to the new listeners, to the people who are coming in just now, if you want to do that, reach out to us 
at Spoil the Beans on Instagram, Spoil the Beans on Facebook, Spoil the Beans on uh, Twitter, uh, me on Instagram, Derek Poston, Sam on uh, Instagram, Sam Lopez, or Facebook, or whatever you have. And if you don't have any social media shit, spoil the beans at gmail.com. Yes, email us. Because a couple of you reached out that way as well. So spoil the beans at gmail.com. Uh, and just let us know what movie you want. Uh, Venmo or Cash App or PayPal, however you want to pay me, $100, and your boy. And you go on the list. This long list that is now ever—it's becoming a list, and we want one every weekend. That's, That's what, what that the plan is. Hopefully, man, that this just grow the the audience grows, and you guys get to just buy an episode for yourself once a month. I mean, once a week, and you have it for the next fifty something weeks, and it just keeps going. And then it's three episodes coming out a week, and you guys are and it's being paid for, and I don't have to worry about it, and I can just also focus on giving you guys top quality content, mm -hmm. giving you guys better guests. I can focus on getting us in a studio. Yeah. You know what I mean? Things like that. So that's what that bonus episode pays for. It does go right back into the podcast. So uh, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad we get to start this new fun thing together where uh, you get to pick the movie. That's fucking awesome. It is bomb. It's exciting, too. It's exciting. Uh, really, we get to know you guys. We do get to know you. We get to know what kind of person you are. Like, Will Peacock. Yeah, we're judging you. What the fuck is going on with you, bro? What the fuck is going on with you, Will Peacock? But we'll get to that. Yeah, I don't know what this one is. Oh, we'll but get the to last that. one was really good. I thought he was uh, from the last movie. I think Will Peacock's a cool guy. I like Will Peacock. I, I like him still after this movie. I just, you know, when you're just like, oh, what's going on with you, man? What's going on? You know, because yeah. like, I'm starting to <laughs> see what what you like. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah. what's going on with you, brother? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to get to know you more, Will. Before we get into that. Okay. Real quick, we got to do some quick ads. The bonus ads. Uh, mm -hmm. Shout out to Darren Bates. Guys, go follow Darren Bates on Instagram. He pays for all the podcasts. Yes. He is the OG daddy-o of the beans. He is Darren, our godfather. He's the godfather. I mean, I do appreciate you guys paying for these bonus episodes, but Darren is what keeps the everything running, keeps the equipment. You know, every, Darren is the guy who does all this for you. So make sure you go follow him on Instagram. At, at Wesleyan underscore so son. At Wesleyan son underscore 56. You've said it a million right. times. I still doesn't have it. At West Sun oh, look at me. <laughs> 56. Uh, go show our boy Darren Bates some love. Uh, follow him on Instagram. Follow his podcast, The Raw Room, on YouTube, Spotify, mm -hmm. and, uh, Lipson. However you listen to podcasts, iTunes. That's However you listen to this right now, go listen to The Raw Room Podcast. The Raw Room. Go subscribe. Go show our boy some love. And just say what, Sam? Tell him the beans sent you. That's all you got. The dude does free money giveaways on his Twitter. Go follow Get him on Twitter. Get that money. He does free cash, literally free cash giveaways for his podcast. Take it. It's, Take it. He's rich. He's literally rich. He pays for the bills here. You know what I mean? Yeah. The guy has money to spend. Go get some of his fucking money. Yeah, go do that. Go do that, Bean Mafia. And tell him the beans sent you there. Uh, guys, we want you to go follow Stellar Elixirs. Whew. Stellar Elixirs. Stellar Elixirs. S-T-E-L-L-A-R-E-L-I-X-I-R-S -E -L -L on Instagram, at Stellar Elixirs. Uh, literally dope. Uh, th these cool, you can like dose it, like you can pick the dosage, which I like, mm -hmm. of these like squirt bottles. We, we showed it the other day on the last episode. Go back and watch Half Baked. We but they got them. like uh, edible kind of, so you drizzle it all over your ice cream. Ice cream or whatever food you want. Whatever uh, you want. Uh, we have the chocolate kind. They have the fruity kinds that go in drinks and all mm -hmm. other kind of fun stuff. Stellar elixirs. Hooked the us best, up. Literally get you high as shit. Bean Mafia, if you want to get absolutely ripped, go watch and go look at how high we were for the half-baked episode. Oh, my gosh. And you'll see what I mean. Stellar elixirs will get you there. Shout out to them and that company. Uh, they make great shit. They really do. They really um, make great shit. Check us out on half the half naked episode. Yep. Shout out to Derek. Even though you spell your name wrong, you're all right, bro. But fix your fucking name. It's spelled wrong. Uh, also, guys, Hidden Village Customs. Hidden Village Customs. They make the best graphic design T-shirts. Literally anime uh, fused with cartoons, fused and with like sporting events and athletes and, and action movies and all the coolest T-shirts you can think of. They sponsor uh, local uh, community. Uh, football like women's football programs mm -hmm. uh they make the t-shirts for them they're from uh, the bay they're from the bay area Bay so area if you're a bay area bean go show them some goddamn love uh hidden village customs literally on instagram hidden village customs go follow them go buy a t-shirt mm -hmm. go say the bean sent you tell them tell them tell them tell them sam yes are you ready for today's purchased episode from mr will peacock Yes, I am so ready. I'm excited. I am excited too. It seemed like a long ep a long movie to watch. It was. It was a very long movie. Will Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, it's also doesn't it feel like I'm not even telling. Doesn't it feel like Will's telling you? A little bit. Like, I feel like I'm Will's telling me. Like Will's like, hey, you gotta watch this. Yeah. Sam. And now I'm watching it. 
Well, before we do, before you watch this movie that I, I had also never seen or heard of this film. I had never seen or heard of it. All right? Will Peacock, you paid for this. This is for you, brother. I hope you enjoy. Samantha Lee, can you tell me what you think happens in the movie you have also never seen? You sure? I'm pretty sure. I didn't ask you. I'm pretty sure. Would ruin everything if she's seen it. Sorry, Will. A Silent Voice. I have not seen this movie. It's on Netflix. Silent For everybody, if you want to watch it after I tell it. A Silent Voice. Mm. What happens? What do you think happens before I tell you what happens? Okay, I'm going to guess this is like one of those movies where it's about like a young kid and uh, maybe his mother is on drugs and um, he gets put into the foster system and we're just following sort of his tragic life and everything's like really bad. I like that. That's a good movie. Sounds like a good movie though. And uh, he kind of just gets like pushed from place to place and we don't, he doesn't really talk much. Silent voice. Obviously. <laughs> um, yeah. But then, like, he finds his passion for photography. And Whoa. <laughs> and he just starts pursuing it, and it gets better and better. And they're like, these are good. And then one of his foster parents is, like, like tries to take advantage of him, like, yeah. use, uh, like, his art and pass it off as his own. Damn. And that, like, sucks. And then, um, but at this point, he's like a little bit older because this is like his whole life. Like we start out as like a little little kid. His mom's like dosing up on heroin, and then oh. like slowly, like each foster home, he like gets a little older. Maybe we trade out the actor. Yeah. Um, and then uh, finally, like he's sixteen, and he gets himself emancipated, and um, he's able to just like live on his own and make art, and um, he becomes very successful. And that's how he lives through his paintings, his silent voice. It's his photography. Is photography. Yeah, yeah. Wow, your movie's really good. I know, no bullshit. I kind of like your movie even better than the movie. Oh, cool. I like your storyline better than the movie. I do. Yeah, that mm-hmm. was good. Uh, you were, you were right about one thing, which was crazy. That you were right about one thing. Oh, really? It's like it, it, it's not the main character, but it is involved in the movie. So it's like, wow, that's interesting. Uh, everything else you were completely wrong about. Okay, what was the one thing I was right about? Well, you'll see when it get, we get there. Okay. Will Peacock. Will Peacock. Dude, what is this? What the fuck is this shit, Will? What is this movie you had me watch this morning that I'm about to tell this girl? I can't be- I was so mad at you all morning that I had to watch this shit. Because it's not that it's bad. It's just, it's not bad. I'm not saying that before we even get into it. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, what the fuck is this? You ready? Yeah. What's going on with you, Will? Movie starts. Uh-huh. Dope ass like massage music is playing. Dope massage music? You know, like dope ass like trance music. Okay. You know, like what you would hear if you were getting a massage. Yeah, I just dope is not the adjective. I Chill, would... I guess is the word. Chill. Right? Chill ass massage music. A point of the voice. That's what you see, the words. You see a fade in, you see fish. Everything is animated. This is an animated movie. What? And it, it, like in that like that Asian anime, like if you were watching, oh like, like that um like shit. Ponyo kind of uh, I don't know what that like is. Spirited Away. What's that? Gurgle g- 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 Anime. You've yeah. Seen it. Yeah. yeah. No, not the what the last era. Gerbil like. Theater, whatever. Yeah. The, yeah. You know. You know. What anime, I'm talking bro. About. What anime looks like? Uh-huh. Classic anime. That's what this shit is, right? So you see the word, the shape of a voice. We see a nigga walking in a brown suit, right? This is our lead in the movie. He's walking in a brown suit, right? This, he, everyone is like, you know those anime movies where like, they're all supposed to be Asian, but they pretty much just look white. Yes. That's what everybody looks like in this. What is that about? What the fuck is that about? I've noticed that as well, that they're all supposed to be Asian, but they're really just all like skinny, dorky white guys. White people. And the, the women, and everybody. Everyone. I don't know what's going on there, but white, but Asian also, that's their fetish with white. But I mean, we all have that fetish. Is it that like... We all have that fetish. Everybody has the light skin fetish. Yeah. Isn't it what? Do you think it's sort of like this idea of like this superiority complex and that like we think we're superior, but this group of people like has sort of played out this idea of like superiority over a different race because they literally enslaved a race. So it's like a way of sort of like, it's like a fetish sized idea of elitism. I don't know. That was a little too smart for me. I don't even know if it made sense. Yeah, it didn't. I don't know okay. what you said. Do you know what you said? No. Let's move on. <laughs> Yo, this girl's crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Uh, so you see this nigga walking, right? And, and you see he goes out to that crib and he marks off the last day on his calendar. Mm-hmm. All right, like final day. He quits his job. Mm-hmm. You see him close out all his bank accounts. He pulls out all of his money. Mm-hmm. All right. He leaves a note for a woman on a bed. Mm. We see this nigga walk up to a bridge. Oh. He looks at the water. He steps on the edge. He jumps. Whoa. This got dark really quick. <laughs> really? I mean, yours was dark, though. Yours yeah, was pretty but dark mine too. was like dark. Yours started a little more joyous. This starts. No, like, this didn't. No, this was deceivingly dark. Like at first, it's all fine, and then it immediately gets dark. Where mine was like, he's his mom's a heroin addict from the jump. Yeah. So it's already dark. We already knew. Also, I just told you this is the lead. So you're like, well, what's going on? Yeah. How can this be the lead? Is he dead? So this nigga jumps, and he lands, and he comes back too, Whoa. and he hears fireworks, right? Uh huh. And then he he wakes up for real, and he marks off the final day on his calendar. Oh, so he hasn't done it yet. He's no, he just hasn't. imagining it. Told you what's going on. With the, are you, you see what I'm saying? Where you're like, hey, Will Peacock. That's so much worse. <laughs> what's happening? Who bro? fantasizes about it? Yeah, because this is the thing. If I was fantasizing, because if I was going to hurt myself, I wouldn't be thinking about the actual hurting myself. I'd be thinking of like the repercussions. Like, oh, my mom's going to be like so sad, or ooh, you know. Yeah, my brothers. Yeah, like how this is going to make people feel. Like, I wouldn't be thinking. All my friends. Thinking about like the actual physical thing I would do to myself. That sounds yeah. painful. Yeah, that sounds really painful, bro. And then the, uh, so that happens, right? And then the song, that song kicks this uh, the, talking about my generation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> talking about my generation. And the credits are rolling, and you see him like walking, right? And we see him, he, he gets younger. Mm-hmm. Like he, he like gets, you see them like age down. And we see him having fun with his kids, like like his crew. Like uh-huh. in like school and shit. Yeah. And you see him playing video games and he's, he's in sixth grade now. Uh-huh. All right. So the movie started like the credits were like, you know what I mean? Like that's how the movie huh. started. Okay. Okay. This is a very intense movie. Yeah. Will. Okay. Will. Do you see what I mean? He picked some weird ones. He picked some interesting. How different is this one from the last one? So different. It's like, what the fuck, man? So our boy is our lead. He's playing with a mechanical pencil. And I used to do this too. You know how you just make it go as far you as you could. make it go all the way out, without yeah. Without trying. it falling out. Yes. Yeah, so he, he's doing that. And that shit did bring me back when I saw that. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. Even anime. I was like, fuck, I've been that kid. Yeah. So he's sitting there and he's bored in class. And then you see the principal come in. Class, we have a new student joining us today. Right? And then our, you see our lead. He doesn't even look up. And a girl nudges him. And she's like, you're in luck, Shoya. You, uh, his name is, our lead's name is uh, Shoya. 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 Shoya Yoshida. Shoya okay. Yoshida. He goes, Shoya, you're in luck, Shoya. I heard it's a girl. He's like, I don't care. Mm-hmm. Right? The girl walks in. She's this cute little, like, cute young girl. Okay? And they're like, oh, Clay class, this is Shoko. Shoko. All right? And they go, Shoko, would you like to introduce yourself? It's quiet. Nobody says anything. And then our boy looks up because he's like, it's quiet, right? And then the teacher taps her and she goes, oh. and then she reaches in her book bag. And she pulls out a pad and it holds it up and it says, nice to meet you. My name is Shoko Niyashima. Oh, she doesn't. And the kids are just, literally the kids are exactly like what you did. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, a silent they, voice. Are you here? You're yeah, with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I get it. That makes sense. So, uh, oh, this movie's sense. like 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, crazy. Yeah. So you see, he, he are, are, like he's like, what? And even our boy's like, what the fuck? You know, mm-hmm. he shook. And then uh, she holds up like another page and it says, I would like to get to know you. When talking to me, please use a notebook. Mm-hmm. You know? And she goes, I, I'm sorry, but I can't hear you. And then our boy literally out loud goes, holy crap. Like, what the f-? He's just like, what the yeah. fuck? You know? So immediately you see, remember the girl that nudged him and was like, hey, Shoko, hey, Shoya, yeah. there's a you know, new girl or whatever. Her name is Nio- Naoki. Naoki. Okay? So Naoki is kind of talking a little bit of shit to the girl, right? A little bit. Like, wow, you really can't hear me? You can't even hear what I'm saying right now? Like that in front of her Whoa. face. And then she goes, uh, the Sh- Shoko girl holds up the pad and she goes, and it says, do you have a nickname? And the girl goes, do I have a nickname? And she goes, oh, she tells her her nickname. I forget what, she's like Naoki or whatever. And then she goes, oh, my, she writes, my nickname is Sho. Like everybody calls me Sho. And then she goes, oh, wow. Hey, Shoya, you hear that? We have two shows now. And he's like, no, we don't. 
And then you see him, he's like, but he's, as he's doing that, he's bullying another kid. Uh-huh. Okay? So you see time passed. The teacher gives out assignments. Uh, the Naoki girl and this other this other white looking girl are helping the Sho- Shoko girl with her homework and shit. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? They're getting yeah. kind of cool. In music class, cut to the next day music class, the piano teacher's playing and she's waving her stick and our deaf girl just immediately just goes, ah, ah, and everybody's looking at her and then they go, hey, and she stops and the white girl's like, just watch me, okay? When I sing, you sing. Wow. That's <laughs> cute. Uh, and she's like, okay. So the other kids are kind of making fun of her. Like, oh, I guess we're not going to win the Aww. win the contest now, right? Uh-huh. Talking all this shit. So cut to the next day. The teacher is making people read in class. And she calls on Shoko. And Shoko, like, reads in her deaf voice. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. And the teacher's like, all right, that's good. Okay. Uh, Shoya, you're next. And Shoya stands up and he goes, and everybody's like oh. yeah, and like some kids are laughing and some kids are like, like damn. damn exactly like damn bro that's fucked up and the teacher's like Shoya you know we do not do that hey stop laughing that is not funny sit down Shoya the Shoko girl doesn't even know Oh. so you see as more time passes Shoko's trying to like hang out with the girls and the other girls don't want to hang out with her and now didn't, they're didn't. getting like a no, you know they're just like yeah. over it uh huh you know, and uh, she's like, damn. So they're on the playground and like sad music's playing. This Aww. shit did make me sad. Like, and she's like on the jungle gym by herself, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, Shoya, like you see Shoya right there and she's on the jungle gym by herself. Shoya throws something at her, right? And he comes up to her and he's like, hey, just so you know, we're sick of you and your notebook. It's getting old fast. And then she goes like this with her hands. She goes. And he's like, What? And she holds up her sign and says, can we be friends? Aww. Right? And he's like, what? Are you such a freak? You don't understand? And he takes some dirt and he throws it in her face. Aww. <laughs> Will Peacock. Will Peacock. <laughs> what is this? So the next day, the class is going to start learning sign language. All right? Mm-hmm. That's what the teacher says. And he goes, it's going to be like using your voice with your hand. We're going to help our girl Shoko out. And every three minutes at the beginning of every class, we're going to learn a little bit of sign language. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and then the Naoki girl's like, why can't we just keep writing in her notebook? And the teacher's like, well, because this will be a little easier for Shoko. Easier for Shoko? What about easier for us? All right. It's easier for us to just write in her notebook. Damn. And mm. then the teacher's like, Jesus. You know? Yeah. So uh, you see this one kid, this nerdy little like girl. She goes, I'll learn it. And then she goes and she sits with Shoko and she learns like her how to say her name. Like Shoko teaches her how mm-hmm. to say her name. And then everybody in class starts making fun of her. Like, you goody two shoes, fucking loser bitch. Gosh, this is such a mean school. It's it is school. That's this is school. Yeah, I guess so. I think it's a little more exaggerated, but I get that there is some of the some of it would be happening. It's a little overdone. Like I can see the girls like not wanting to hang out with like the cool. I can girls. see that. Like little things yeah. like that, and like oh man, but like the throwing the dirt in her face and all that. Yeah, it's a little much. Or like a kid being helpful and wanting to do it, and the other kids kind of making fun of that yeah. kid. Like things like that. It's like no, that's about right. Uh, so on the board we see Shoya. He, he gets up, and this is like before the cl- like he's hanging out with the kids the cool kids and he writes something really mean you don't see what it is because it's an Asian but he writes something really mean about or mean about Shoko on the board mm-hmm. he's like how about I write this for her? and everybody's like damn bro you gotta erase that come on that's bad that's so bad and he's like no check out my masterpiece and then right then she walks in yeah and she's like and then he's like oh my gosh he jumps up he's like who would write such a thing and he erases it he goes I'll erase that don't worry about it and he goes look no need to thank me no one sees it and then she grabs the chalk and she looks at him and then she writes something and it says thank you Aww. And he gets so he gets so mad. He's like, "I said it was no need to thank me, all right?" Gah! And you can tell it's like she's such a sweet girl. <laughs> it's so complicated, all these feelings. When you're a young kid, yeah, and you like you just don't even know how to feel about it. So during class the next day, he starts like bullying her for real. Like she's sitting there, and he gets up right up on her ear, and he screams really loud. You know, and shit like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And he, they're like, uh, they're like the teacher's like, Shoya, do you want detention? He's like, no, sir. You see, come up to the next day, the bully girl, Naoki. She's like, hey, what's this? And then like grabs her hearing aid. Oh. She's like, what are those? And she's like, oh, like trying to stop them, right? Yeah. And then uh, 
Shoya's like, toss him over. And he gets uh, him. And he's like, oh, there's earwax on him. And he throws him as far as he can. Yeah. And then she's like, oh. cut to a bullying, mo- like a piano music picks up. And it's just a montage of him bullying the shit, shit out of her. Aww. Just picking on her, breaking her head, like her ear, her fucking Those things. Those are expensive. Super expensive. He breaks a bunch of them and like fucking with her. And then one day you see he comes up behind her and he just rips them out of her ears. Aww. And she starts bleeding. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God. As the parent here, this is when I have to like, I've already yeah. said something, but this is no one. Now I have to put hands on this kid. Yeah. Like, don't you feel me this now? This is like, not no, happening. No, no, no. This, what'd you say, Sam? This is not this is happening. Like, my deaf ass kid? No. Nah. When she came home with the first broken ones, I'd be like, oh, something's going on. But with the she, ripped out of her ears? Oh my god! Oh yo, I'm because I'm like I'm like, hey, if I'm not putting hands on this kid, where's this kid's parent? Because somebody's also somebody's is she bleeding because it's a hearing aid and he like scratched her, or is he she bleeding because it's a cochlear implant and he's pulling out her cochlear implant? I don't know. Is it in her ear or is it like kind of like also the outer one? The outer one. So probably kind of like her. also here. Yeah. Because that's the cochlear implant. Like they have to put a a receiver here. I don't know. I mean, he ripped them out. I don't oh know. my god. It's fucked up. Okay. Mama Sam ain't having that one. Mm-mm. So uh, the other kids are like, damn, bro. Obviously, because she's bleeding out of her ears. Like, mm-hmm. damn, bro, you went way too far. Yeah. Like, Jesus. So uh, cut to after school that next day. She's waiting for him. Mm-hmm. And he's walking by. And he's like, yo, you're in my way. And then she writes something. And she holds it up. And it just says, I'm sorry. And you're not sorry. You're pathetic. And he, she grabs him as he tries to like push by her, and like she like he grabs her like like she she like this like he like as he, try, he grabs her like this. Like, Get your hands like don't touch me ever right. Yeah. And she looks and then she's like like let's hold hands like like we're touching yeah. like we're friends yeah. And then he's like no Jesus Christ and he grabs her notebook and he throws it in the water. <sighs> Gosh, this school sucks. I hate everyone. <laughs> and then she goes baby. to get you don't even like you don't like uh, Shoya? She's fine. Shoko, I'm sorry, Shoko. Shoko's the girl that's deaf. Deaf girl. Yeah. yeah. She's fine. But I wouldn't want her going to this school. This is not a nice place. No, it's not. So she goes in the water to go get her notebook and everybody makes fun mm-hmm. of her, like, oh, that water's Aww. gross. What a weirdo, you know. So you see, cut to you see him in the water, and his books are all over the water, all right? And it's like, you're like, huh, that's weird. Like, you see him, and then it goes back. Like, you, so you see that, and then it goes back, right? And Shoko, she's absent the next day, mm-hmm. all right? And the principal comes in, and he goes, I have to talk to you all. This is coming from Shoko's mother, but apparently, in, fi- in her five months of being here, she's gone through eight of her hearing aids. They've <sighs> either gone broken or missing. Her mother believes, even though Shoko has not said this, that she's being bullied by one of you. Also, they're like, man, this Shoko girl's cool, dog. Yeah. Because she oh, clearly she's just like she just she just wants to be a, yeah. a, like a part of the group. Yeah. Which I guess as a deaf kid, I get it's like damn, because you probably always feel as a kid in general you feel that way. So to and add now that, it's amplified. Yeah. Yeah. So he goes, if uh, if any of you see this, please come forward. You know, if no one does, I'm gonna have to bring all of your parents in to get to the bottom of this. Mm-hmm. And right then, the teacher stands up and he goes, stand up, Shoya. You know it's been you. Like, we all know yeah. it's you. And then he goes, what? No, come on. And then the principal goes and he looks to the Naoki girl. He's like, you sit next to him. What have you seen? And he, she's like, well, I see he teases her. He makes fun of her. He knocked her down. And then the other kids are like, he did this. He ripped her hearing aids out. And then he's like, well, it wasn't just me. The girls were doing it too. You guys were mean to her too. And they're like, no, we weren't. He's like, and he points at the white girl. He's like, you were super mean to her. And she's like, I would never be mean. And she starts crying, right? And everybody's like, damn, show you. And he's like, but, but, but no, right? And then we see him after class. Get, he's getting bullied. By okay. all the kids. Okay. And that was him getting out of the water with him yeah. all of his notebooks. Uh-huh. So he goes home and his mother's like, come here, Shoya. I'm talking to you. She's like, I just got off the phone with the school. Why are you wet? He's like, I jumped in the river. And he's like, look, your teacher called. And he goes, okay. And she's like, you know why he called? He's like, fine. Okay, fine. I know why he called. Yes, it's true. All right. She's like, get cleaned up. We are going to that girl's house right now. Oof. Okay. Actually, as a mom, I can't imagine as a parent and I find out it's my kid doing this. Yeah. Oh my God, how mad are you? So mad. 
Also, if our kid is bullying anyone, that's your problem. Whoa, you're not taking responsibility for that? I'm not. Unless it's like, uh, unless it's cyberbullying. I will only take responsibility for cyberbullying. Any kind of physical bullying, that's, they got that from you. But if our kid's like talking mean shit, apparently. Oh, that's very possible. That's my fault. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to go apologize. It's fairly good. That's me. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so they go to Shoko's house, right? We see the mom apologizing to her mom and they're talking and then they're far away, right? And he walks over and he sees our girl Sh- Shoko feeding birds. Mm-hmm. And he hides all nervous and then he goes to walk away and he trips and he falls and all the birds fly away so she sees him, which mm-hmm. I thought was a cool shot. Oh, just the Because she wouldn't be able to hear him walking yeah. away, but he fell and it scared the birds away so it made her like look around, Yeah, you know? But I was like, oh, that's actually pretty good writing. Like mm-hmm. for, that's really clever, you know? So, uh, his mom is like, he, she sees each other. His mom's like, let's go home. And he's telling her like, hey, you're going to be nicer than that girl from now on. Do, right? Mm-hmm. Cut to a montage of him getting bullied at school now. Okay? Yeah. So after school one day, she he's walking by, like it's the end of the day, he's walking by his classroom and he sees her at his desk. And he comes in, he's like, hey, what are you doing? And she's like cleaning it. He's like, don't you ever touch my shit, freak. And he grabs her arm and she smiles again. He goes, there's that look. Don't act all sweet and innocent. All you do is just stand there with that stupid look on your face. Huh? Aren't you going to do something? Aren't you going to defend yourself? And he's like grabbing her and she's like this. And finally she bites him. Oh. He's like, I can't believe you bit me. And he pushes her and then she starts fighting back. Yeah. Like she's like, you see her like crying. Like you're like, it all comes out of her. Uh-huh. Like, fuck you. Yeah. You know? And she gets on top of him, and I, this I did. It almost made me tear up. This, she's hitting him, and she goes, "I'm doing the best I can." Just rips your heart out, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my poor baby. Right? Why would you do this to me, Will Peacock? Can't we just have an episode where it's fun and not sad and meaningful? Or brothers falling in deep love? Oh. And singing Irish folk <laughs> tunes. So. Yeah, Will Peacock, you, I'm glad it's 11 more in front of you now because you need a break yeah. from your fucking choices, bro. Oh, my gosh. Emotion. And so uh, she tires out, right? They stop fighting. Mm-hmm. The next day, he's at his desk, and he's just like, I fucking hate her. I hate her so much, muttering to himself. She's so weird. And he finds out the principal comes in. Uh, guys, Shoko transferred schools. Whoa. All right, For so her. she's gone. The class journal apparently also went up, went missing. If any of you guys seen it, uh, please check your bag, see if you have it. But we need it returned. Our boy, like he doesn't even look up, right? He keeps clicking his mechanical pencil, mm-hmm. like how we saw him on the first shot. Okay, and you see the cool dots, like these little dots that pop up at the beginning of the movie, mm-hmm. and then it fades to black. Cut back to we see grown him walking in that suit. Okay, okay. This Are is... you getting this now? Where this is going? Though? Like. I don't know where this is going exactly. But I'm saying, like, did you see what happened? Like, oh, yeah. what happened? Uh-huh. Of, like, how we got here. Okay. Okay. So we see him growing. He's walking. He goes to a sign language class. Uh-huh. He's, like, older. He's not growing, by the way. He's, like, in high he's school. Like in but high he's, school. like, 17, 18. He's older now. He's, like, an anime adult. He's an anime adult. Which means he's 22. He's going to a sign language class now and learning sign. Mm-hmm. Okay. I thought that was interesting, considering that girl's been out of his life for so long. Yeah. You know? Since huh. grade school. And he's still thinking about it. So he he hears something, something as he's walking in. He hears Shoko. And this old lady says, all right, he turns and he sees her. It's Shoko. Uh-huh. All right? And she's in high school now, too. And he looks and he touches her. And he's like, Shoko, do you remember me? E- elementary school. I'm Shoya. And she smiles, that cute smile. And then she goes like, and then her face gets really sad. Like, she remembers everything. Mm-hmm. And she takes off running. And he's like, wait, please, come back. And he runs after her and he finds her. He's like, hey, so I've wanted to give you this. And he gives her, it's the notebook from the journal that went, like, from school. Uh-huh. All right? And uh, she signs to him and he knows it. And he signs back. And she's like, how do you know sign language? And he's like, I went to a class and learned. And then she's like, whoa. And he was like, I was wondering, can me and you be? And he holds his hands like. Friends. Mm. And then right then he he goes, I was hoping that's an option. He slaps himself. And he's like, 
oh my God, that's what you used to ask me in school all the time. And I never understood it. And now I understand it so much what you meant. And she starts crying. He's like, don't cry, Shoko. So the next day, all right, time passes the next day, we see our boy getting waken up by this little girl. This little like black looking girl. Show, 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 show. Wake up. It's time for breakfast. He's like, okay, okay. Good morning, Maria. And then, you know, show is awake and he goes down and he looks and you see the, the calendar that he had. It's on the mm-hmm. floor, right? With all the X's on it. So you see him eating breakfast with his mom. You find out he has an older sister who's like, hey, I got to go to work. She leaves. That's whose daughter it is. So that's yeah. his niece and his mom. The husband, the like the father's like in the military. Uh-huh. So he's out on leave. Okay. All right. So uh, you find out the mom says, as he's eating br- breakfast, the mom's all cheery because she's so proud of the son. He left her, he gave her like all this money yesterday. And she was curious about it, but she's like, oh, you've been working so hard at your job. I guess it's all good. But I noticed also you sold all your stuff. And shows like, yeah, I did. And she's like, well, I guess, you know, he's like, but I want you to have it all, mom. And he's like, well, I guess I'm so lucky to have a thoughtful son. She goes, but tell me, Shoya, why would you want to kill yourself? He stops. And he goes, like, he, like he's like, and he's like, I, I don't know, mom. I, I'm just going through some crazy stuff. And she goes, I knew it. I knew something was going on. Oh, my God. When you canceled your phone, I was like, oh, my God, what was going on? And then after I saw, I looked at your calendar and all the days were ripped off after April, whatever day it was. You know, and, she, and she's like, I don't understand. You gave me all this money. And I just, what are you, what's wrong with you? He's like, mom, mom, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to. She's like, promise me. He's like, mom, it's all fine. And she holds up all the money he gave her. Mm-hmm. And she holds up a, like a lighter to it. She goes, I will torch this money right now. Well, I respect also as a mom, it's like, damn. That's a moment, bro, to be like, I what's wrong with you, boy? Mm-hmm. Like, I'll make sure you know it wasn't like whatever your little plan was, mm-hmm. I'll ruin it. Yeah. You know? And then uh she's like, I'll torture right now. He's like, Mom, don't do that. Don't do anything crazy. She says, he goes, I wasn't gonna hurt myself. She says, be specific, or I will torture this money. What are you not gonna do? He goes, Mom, I'm not gonna kill myself, okay? I swear, I swear I won't kill myself. I swear to you. And she goes, Okay. Okay, she starts crying. She goes, baby, I love you so much. She goes, I won't burn this. And as she's saying that, she's burning it. she accidentally burns it and she burns up all the money. No. Okay. Right, how do you feel right now, your emotions? Where is this going? <laughs> right, Will Peacock? Where the fuck is this going? God, this fucking Will Peacock. I can't wait to meet you. I'm so mad at you now. <laughs> Giving me money, making me say these crazy things. So, yesterday, you hear him in his like his voiceover. Yesterday, I was planning to jump off a bridge to kill myself. It was supposed to be this big test of courage. And he remembers back in ju- junior high where everybody started saying he was a bully. Mm-hmm. And it spread that he was this big bully. And that's why everybody started hating him in school and like started mm-hmm. being mean to him. Right. And he goes, and I knew I was going to, I knew I was just paying for what I was, for being a jerk and I was paying for it. Mm-hmm. So I pushed everyone away. We see him walking through high school. He's really quiet and there's X's on everyone's face. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's how he sees everybody. Yeah. Right. And uh, the, he looks at people talking to their friends and they're talking to their friends normal. Right. But what he hears is people talking about him. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, you hear what that kid used to do, that bullet deaf girl. Oh, you hear like he's such an asshole. Oh, mm-hmm. did you hear about this? Oh, did you hear about him? Like, and that's all he hears. And that's why he sees exes and he's scared to like look up ever. All right? But it's all in his head. Mm-hmm. Okay? So he looks over at this nerdy kid. And he's like, man, I've seen this kid before, even though there's the X on his face. He's like, who is he? He goes, it doesn't matter. He goes, should I see Shoko again? Should I apologize? <sighs> is it too creepy to go say, like, say something to her? He comes home. And the mom's like, hey, I'm sorry for burning your hard-earned money. But if, it, if you only earned it to kill yourself, I'm really glad I did. Okay. And he's like, it's okay, mom. I'll earn it back. And he just, add, he like gets a new calendar and like adds days to it. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. So it's Tuesday. He sees the nerdy kid, right? He's going into school and he sees that nerdy kid that he saw yesterday being asked for his bike. He's like, come on, kid. Let me use your bike, fat boy. And he's like, no. He's like, come on, man. Let me see your bike for real. And he's like, no, I, I can't. Give me your bike. Give me your bike. Please. Please stop. Give it to me, fat boy. Is there anyone out there? Won't anyone help me? Please. Please. Like, go on the damn bike already. Let me borrow it. But it's mine. And then you hear, hey. And the kid turns. You want to borrow my bike? It's over here. You can borrow it. Mm-hmm. And the kid's like, thanks. And he takes his bike. And then you hear a voiceover. And, of course, he stole it. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
So he's talking to himself about should he mess with Shoya, the Shoko girl, should he not? He's like, oh, if I just get a sign. And he looks down and he gets like a, it's like a coupon for free like bread. Mm-hmm. He's like, a sign. So he goes and he gets bread. All right. And then he goes to her. And when he goes to her place to see her, this little boy is like, this little girl, I'm sorry, is like, hey, go away. And she tells her, like, you know, like, no, Shoko doesn't want to see you. And he's like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. And he leaves. And then Shoko signs, like, who was that? And the little girl's like, oh, it's just some rat in the hallway. Don't worry about it. Mm. And she's like, okay. So the next day, the nerdy kid runs up to our boy Shoya. And he's like, hey, I found you. I found your bike. This is yours, right? He's like, yo, what the fuck? It's like, good thing you had your address on it. He's like, where'd you find it? He's like, man, that jerk, that jerk, he dumped it in a rice field. But don't worry, I found it. And then right then, the X peels off of his face. Oh, wow. And you can see his face now. Yeah. And he's like, yo, what's up, bro? Like, nice to finally meet you. Like, thank you for doing that yesterday. He's like, what's your name? And he goes, I'm Tomohito. Tomohito. T-O-M-O-H-I-R-O. Mm-hmm. Right? And he's like, I said, what do you mean? He's like, what do you mean you don't know my name? I sit behind you every day, silly. And mm-hmm. he's like, oh, yeah. So the next morning, he meets up. Like, you see Shoya coming to school, and our boy rides, like, comes up and meets him. He's, like, yeah. riding with him. And he's like, oh, what's up? And then he asks him to hang out later. And Shoya's like, uh, okay. And then they go to a movie theater. He's like, I saved you a seat. And he's all happy. Aww. And then Shoya's hanging out with him. And then you see him, like, leading them all through, like, this roller coaster, like, ride stuff. And then Shoya's, like, face goes from, like, this to, like, like oh, I kind of like this guy, yeah. right? He goes, the fat kid goes, I'm going to call you Yasho. That's your nickname. Like, that'll be your nickname from now on. You'll be Yasho. He goes, you can tell me anything, Yasho. And he, the, our lead thinks, and he goes, what's it mean to become friends? Hmm. And the Yasho, his friend is like, he grabs a french fry and dips it in ketchup and goes, give me your hand, Yasho. <laughs> and he takes his hand and goes, give me your hand. And he goes like, and he goes, that's what it means. He goes, it means you and I is friends. No rules, no qualifications. It's just about our bond. And you can't break that. And he smiles. He's like, capiche. Right? And he goes back to smoking a cigarette. And then, uh, so he goes the next day. And he goes to try to see Shoya, Shoko again. And it's the same little girl, you know. Mm. And she's like, hey, Shoya doesn't want to see you. She has a boyfriend. Mm. Like, uh, she has a boyfriend. And he's like, who? She's like, me. She's my boyfriend. And he's like, Whoa. I didn't know Shoko liked such younger guys. And he's like, look, if you're here to make yourself feel better, why don't you leave? She doesn't want to talk to you. And the nerdy friend right then grabs the little kid. Mm-hmm. He goes, hey, that's my friend. And if he wants to see Shoko, he's going to see Shoko. And then Shoko's like, what the? Shoko's like, what the hell are you doing here, Tomohito? And he's like, oh, I followed you. And then the girl's like, well, a stalker has a stalker. Mm-hmm. Big surprise. And the fat nerd like starts wanting to fight her. And then you see Shoya sees everybody. And runs away. Uh And our boy goes, and he goes and he runs after her, Uh right? So the two kids, the fat kid and the little kid, you know, the little girl has a a picture. Yeah. She's a photographer. Oh, that's the thing I got right. (laughs) You did get that. I don't know how you guessed that, but you guessed that right. So you see them spying on Shoya and Shoko, Mm -hmm. okay? And you, you see him say, the truth is, I just wonder about you, and I wonder if we can be friends. And in order to, like, in, for some reason, in order to see you, I always felt like I need a good reason. And, and finally, I found one. And it's for us to, I think we're supposed to, like, be cool. And she says, well, I'm glad you did. I was thinking the same thing. And he's like, I bought you bread to feed the fish. And then they start feeding the fish together with mm-hmm. bread, right? So she shows, she goes, hey, I was looking at this notebook from when we were younger. Can I read it? And she goes to read it to him. And he's like, no, 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 I don't think we should read that. And as he does, he accidentally knocks it in the river again. And he's like, no. And then she goes, she jumps in. And he's like, what are you doing? And she dives for it. Ooh. And the friends are like, like, oh, my gosh, she just went in. And he just jumped in after her. And you see he jumps in after her. Uh-huh. And he jumps in and he, like, he goes underwater. He like opens his eyes and he can see her legs and like her little skirt. And he's Ooh. like, and he, like, like, oh, shit, focus. Sexy. Right? And he grabs a notebook and he says, I'm so sorry I dropped that. And then she bows to him and then like throws him a peace sign and they leave. <laughs> all right? Yeah, because you remember they're all Asian even though they're not. What the fuck is that? So the kid who was a photography kid is watching, who said it was that was his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. He's all she's all pissed. And you see her, she's like, Well, I'm gonna get you then. And she does some computer shit with the picture she took. Mm-hmm. And she's like, so long, stalker. And the next day it's all over social media that he jumped in the river. 
Okay. And everybody at school is kind of making fun of him for it. Like, yo, yeah. what's this about? And he's all shy. And the principal comes and says he's in trouble because you're not supposed to be jumping in the school river like that. Oh, wow. Okay. You know? And so he's at the house and his sister calls and says, hey, I need you to go pick up my daughter. He's like, I'm grounded, mom. I got in trouble at school. And I can't leave the house. And he's like, oh, it'll be all right. Go pick her up. Which is also true. Yeah. It's not like mom's going to be mad at you for that one. Yeah. So he goes to see her, right? Uh, and he picks up the little girl. And she's like, show, show. And they're playing in a park. She's like, show, someone's in here. And he goes to see who's in like the little, you know, those like the, those little like tubes that would be yeah. in parks. And he goes to see, and it looks like a little homeless person. It's the little kid who was taking all the pictures. Oh, funny. And he's been sleeping in the park. And he's like, what the hell are you doing out here? Aww. And he's like, where are your shoes? And the kid's like, all sad. And he's like, aren't you mad at me? He's like, for what? He's like, for posting those photos of you online. I was so mad at you for, you know, being with Shoko. And he goes, whoa, it was you? <laughs> I'm just glad to know who did it. You're not angry? No, I'm not angry. And then you're, show, show, I'm hungry. He's like, well, come with us. So he brings that little girl like back mm-hmm. home with him. And they're all eating dinner and shit. And they sleep and they're having a good time. And you see the kid wake up in, in the middle of the night mm-hmm. and leave. It's raining. And she's walking mm-hmm. out in barefoot in the rain. And you see Shoyo run after her and go, hey, what are you doing? And he has an umbrella. He's like, why are you walking out in the barefoot rain? And the kid's still taking artsy pictures and shit. And he's like, why are you doing this? And she's like, look, just leave me alone, all right? Like, like, I'm just running away from home or whatever. He's like, why? She's like, I got into a fight with Shoko. Let me tell you something. Relationships can get messy. And the kid's like, really? What'd you do? And she's like, I used her shampoo without permission. So she went off on me. He's like, whoa, you guys live together? Aren't you guys young for that? And she's like, don't worry about it. And she keeps giving him shit. She's like, you know, you think you're a hero or something, but you're not. And, uh, and he's like, look, I'm sorry for what you heard about me. And I'm sure Shoko told you I'm this big bully and blah, blah, blah. Right. It's like this crazy conversation where you're like, who is this little kid? I know. Right. I was thinking the same thing where it's like, I don't understand who this little kid is. And so uh, she walks him home. She walks him further. And and she's like, oh, the little kids like this is is a girl or a a boy. Right. Little kids like this is far enough. And then she goes, by the way, I'm not actually Shoko's boyfriend. He goes, who are you? And she goes, I'm actually Shoko's. And she holds her pinky up. And he goes, you're Shoko's younger sister. And then the little kid leaves. Uh-huh. That's who she was. Okay. But she looks like a little boy. Yeah. So it was so confusing the whole time. Also, I was like, what the fuck is also, this? Also, what is this? How does this mean younger sister? Dude, no idea. I don't know what, what, I don't know what that means. Yeah. That's what she did in the movie, though. Uh, okay, little peacock. Dude, I was so confused. A lot I'm of this confused. movie, I was so fucking confused, I'm man. I'm confused. And it gets more confusing. No, it doesn't. Dude. How could it get more confusing? I know, right? So you see the little girl walk in and Shoko runs up. She's like, little sister. And she's like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And the mom's like, you know, she goes uh, like, hey, I seen that boy. Oh, no, I'm sorry. So when she says that, Shoko's mom walks outside and mm-hmm. she sees him and she's like, I remember you. And she slaps the shit out of Shoya. Nice. He does deserve that. All right. And Shoya's like, I'm sorry for what I did. Cut to she comes in. Shoko's hugging her. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Uh-huh. So the next day, they go and they meet Shoko, uh-huh. right? Like, like, and he goes, uh, "Hey, Shoko, I got a new phone." And Sho, and Sho, he's like, "Show you." He's like, "I got a new phone." And he's like, "Oh, cool." He's like, "I'm guessing you have one. Do you want to ever text?" And he asks, he goes, "If you ever need anybody else's number from elementary school, just ask me. I'll get it for you." And then she's like, "Hey, you remember that girl that learned how to do sign language for? You remember her?" Yeah. She was like, "Do you have her number?" And he's like, "No, but I can get it for you." Okay. He's like, "All right." So Shoya like hunts down the girl uh-huh. and figures out where she lives. He needs to get, he's like, oh, damn, we got to take the train to get to her place. Uh-huh. And uh, he gets the money from his fat, nerdy friend. Yeah. Because the fat, nerdy friend's loaded. And he gives him a bunch of money. Shoko shows up. She's like, all right. So they go to meet the girl, right? And right then they start texting on the train, each other. And you see, like, their text pop up. Pop up and they're, like, flirting back and forth. For, yeah. Like, getting cooler and cooler and shit. So cut to, they find the girl who, the, who grew up. Like, she's also in high school now. And they're like, oh, my God, it's so cool to see you. And she's like, I'm so sorry I disappeared on you back then. I, but I never stopped thinking about you, and I should have stayed friends with you. And we'll do it right. And they start having girl talk, and they start mm-hmm. talking about, like, how big uh, Shoko's titties have gotten. Right? And, like, and you see Shoyo, like, Hoo! like that. Like, being all, like, Hoo! like, all shy and Asian. You know, and they do, like, the, Hoo! like that. Hey, can you do it one more time? I can do that. <laughs> It's like that shit. 
<laughs> they have a little like hashtag over their forehead and their faces, their cheeks are all red. Yeah, exactly. So Shoya walks off and as he's walking off, you see this girl handing out coupons to the Mau Mau Club. Mm-hmm. He's like, I think I recognize that girl. It's the bully girl, Miyoki. She's grown up as well. Okay. All right. And uh, he walks in and the girl, like to the Meow Meow Club, and it's just a, it's a club for cats. Cool. How cool is that? The Meow Meow Club. Because he walks in like, oh, it's a, like a nightclub and it's just a club for cats. It's like a cat cafe. It's a cat cafe. Bomb. What are those? It's like the greatest thing that was ever invented. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's one way to I describe I mean, it's them. a bummer because they kind of up their prices on their coffees. It's for the cats. Oh, because you get to hang out with cats? Because you get to hang out with cats, but the money goes to the cats, I guess. What do you guess. mean the money goes to the cats? Like, like the drug empire? Yeah, the cat drug empire. Where they sell catnip? Yeah. Mm. On the DL. On they the have DL. a whole like underground network. Damn, and it's all being run by the cat father? Yes. And it's it's the, the Siamese cats specifically <laughs> that are running it. <laughs> Siamese cats? Yeah. So... uh. <laughs> Our boy, she's our, our our boy goes home, and Shoko's sister's there, mm-hmm. and he's talking to Shoko's sister. Shoko's at the doctor, and she gets some bad news. You don't see what it is, but you can tell it's bad. Like she comes home and she's crying, and the sister comes home. The sister's name is Yuza, Yuzu, and uh, the sister like says, "Hey, Shoko, Shoya got you a gift," and like, "Oh damn, why are you crying?" And you figure out like her hearing's getting worse. Oh, like she's even losing like the ability to like hear with the hearing aid. Mm-hmm. You know. So the next day, uh, our boy Shoya is on his bike, and the Naoki girl sees him, and she jumps on the back of his bike. And she's like, hey, you remember me? And he's like, yeah. And they start talking. And Why does she jump on his bike? Like, he's a little back, like, uh, like pegged. Thing. Like, she's not, like, she's not, he's not, he's, like, sitting still. And mm-hmm. she's like, hey, like that, like, to yeah. like you know. And It's normal. It is, yeah, I guess. I mean, they, it, they're Asian. Oh, uh, that's true. I guess they're, you know, there's no balance. They're a little more, little more life, t- you know, like, very th- Athletic looking. Yeah. Especially Thin, in anime. Yeah. So they see the deaf girl, right, as they're sitting there talking on the bike. And the girl goes, damn, there's that deaf girl. Show you. Look at her. I mean, Shoko. God, still all alone. Look at her. And then she's like, man, I'm sorry for everything that happened in elementary. That was crazy. But, you know, we were kids. No big deal and all that shit. And he's like, hey, can you get off my bike? Because she keeps shitting on Shoko. Yeah. Right? And she's like, dang. How'd you get uh, right then? Shoko looks up and she notices that the little cat cafe purse, mm-hmm. Shoya got it for and gave it to Shoko. Remember when mm-hmm. the sister gave her a gift? Yeah. That was the gift. It was a little cat purse from yeah. the cat cafe. And she runs up and she's like, yo, what the fuck? And she steals it. And she's like, what are you doing? And then she takes her ear things out again. Oh. And she's like, hey, show you, let's play catch like we used to when we were kids, huh? And she's like, no, like, are you kidding me? What's wrong with you? And then she's like, what? No. And he's like, stop. Give me those back. She's like, no, you two, are you guys going out? And he's like, no, we're friends. He's like, really? The besties and the bully. You guys are friends now? And she uh-huh. starts dying laughing. Uh-huh. Like making fun of them. Like, oh, trying to make amends. And she's like, well, I'll leave you all to your fake friendship. And she laughs and she walks off. What? Right? And who are these people? I don't know. Anime people. Anime people. So... uh. Shoko like show like show like they like show you rides off right. Mm-hmm. The next day, Shoko wakes all happy and her she puts her hair in a ponytail, and the sister's like, "Damn, look at you, girl! I got your hair mm-hmm. in a ponytail." Mm-hmm. And then Shoya sees her the next day and he's like, "Whoa, ponytail!" And they start talking, and then she starts talking to him in her deaf voice, and he goes, "Hey, could you mind signing for me?" And she goes, "Is my voice weird?" Oh. And then he goes, "Yeah, it kind of is," and she's but- like, and she starts getting sad. He goes, yeah. "No, no, no! It sounds okay. I'm sorry. It's just." I'm sorry. He goes, I'm going to go get some bread. And and she stops him and she holds out a present that she got for him. And he opens it up and it's these like three little pigs on a stick. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he's like, Oh, thanks so much. And then her fists get all balled up and she gets all nervous. And she goes, I love you. And he goes, what? And she's like, (laughs) Derek. That's what she said. And then he goes, yeah, the moon. The moon is pretty. And he looks up, and there is like a the moon is out behind him. Oh, God. And then she starts crying and runs away. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> is that a nightmare for you? This is like, to I'm so embarrassed. Yeah. 
Oh you know, my god, that's, that's awful. You only speak uh, deaf. <laughs> so. <laughs> So Shoko, she runs home and she jumps in bed all embarrassed, right? Just mm-hmm. face first. So the next day, uh, he, he sees a girl in class, our boy Shoya, and she she has the X on her face. And she's talking about, like, she got her hair changed and everybody's giving her compliments. And he walks up to her and he's like, hey, why would you do that? Why'd you change your hair? And she's like, I don't know. You know, I just felt like it was the thing to do. Like, I just did it, you know? Mm-hmm. And the X falls off her face. And she goes, by the way, my friend really likes you too. And the X falls off his face. It's this, like, red-haired boy. Mm-hmm. All right, and he's like, "Yo, what's up?" And he kind of gets to know him. So they all go to this festival, and they see the Naoki girl being cool with Shoko, and like, they're like, "Oh, that's interesting," because she was bullying her the other yeah. day, but she's being cool with her. And the little sister's like, "Man, what the fuck's her problem?" So the two girls who exes fell off, they're all together, and they're all riding a roller coaster get together, and they're all hanging out at this festival, right? Yeah, like just high school kids. And I thought the girl said this was interesting because they're going up on the roller coaster, and it's like that click, 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 yeah. click. And this blonde girl says, you know, because I'm scared of roller coasters. And I was like, wow, I never looked at it like that. She says, you know, when I was a kid, I never rode this because I was always so scared. But now that I'm older, I don't look at it like that anymore. Now I look at it and I'll wait till after I ride it to decide if it was scary or not. Mm. And I was like, damn, that's a good way to look at a roller coaster Mm -hmm. because I never ride them. Yeah, you've never. But it's like I don't know if like I if it's if I ride it and it was scary as fuck, then I don't have to ride it anymore. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's true. Because you ride roller coasters. I love roller coasters. You ever get scared before? Yes, and you know what it's like for me. It's like uh, the feeling right before you go up on a on stage. Yeah. Right before you like you know you get to the mic that feeling. Yeah. And then you hit the the top of the mountain and then you start going and it's so exciting and fun and you. And you, it's like so exciting, you don't even notice that it was scary, you know? Yeah. So it's sort of like being on stage. Would it be comparison, like, so if the roller coaster, if everybody died, that would be bombing? If the roller coaster yeah, flies probably. off and everyone dies? I think it's more like if the roller coaster, so sometimes, uh, I haven't had this happen to me, but this happened to my brother, where he was on a roller coaster and it got stuck. Oh, that would be the equivalent of bombing. Yeah, and that's the equivalent of bombing. You're just sitting there and it's like, it's Dangling awful and it's hot. Down. Yeah, and it's like, it's n- like the middle of like June, so it's so, so sweaty and, and gross. Yeah. That sounds terrible. And, and and you were supposed to get on all these other rides that day, now you're not. Oh, I would not get no shit else. I don't yeah. trust anything anymore. Well, also, you don't have time because you've been waiting so long for them to get the roller coaster to work again. Golly. That sounds fucking terrible. That would be bombing on a roller coaster. You know happened to your brother? Yeah, I think Michael. Of course him. it happened to Michael. Yeah, Michael, bad things happen to him sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shoko gets off the roller coaster and her legs are all shaking. And, uh... Like, they're all hanging out and having a good time. Mm -hmm. And they're doing all the rides together. And in his head, he's like, am I okay? Am I allowed to have this much fun? Is this what it feels like? Is this what it feels like to be all friends? Are we all friends? He's such a... Is he saying this or just thinking it? Out loud. He's thinking it. Because he's a fucking loser. Yeah. Well, I mean, he beat up a deaf girl in sixth grade. He he wasn't, like, a cool kid. Yeah, he was never a cool kid. That was... It's like, bro, you were never cool. Like, that's not what made you not cool. You always suck. Yeah. That's like, what I You thought that that was worth doing. Yeah. Because it's like, <sighs> I don't know. It's not like I'm saying like, oh, I was like a really genius sixth grader. But if there was a deaf kid in our class, the idea to be mean to them would, I would already be of the age that I would be like, you know, I shouldn't be picking on this person who can't hear. Yeah. I should be picking on the person that can hear. And it's like, it's like their game. You know what I mean? Yes. There's some like ethics there on who you bully. Definitely. So I agree. So they go to, bro, this is when it gets crazy. The Naoki girl runs up to Shoko. She's like, hey, ride the Ferris wheel with me. And the little sister goes, hey, take my camera to her bigger sister. Take my camera when you guys go. I want to ride the roller coaster again. Mm -hmm. All right. Fade to black. The next day, the little sister Yuzu comes to Shoya's house and she's like, I got a video I need to show you. And then he she puts in a video and it's of you see, it's like of the two girls on the Ferris wheel. Yeah. And he's like, Where'd you get this? And she was like, well, I was spying. I left my camera on. I knew something was up. Listen to this. And she hits play and you hear like you don't because it's like it's the it's the angle of, of their legs, obviously. Yeah, because she's just holding the camera. She's just holding it. 
and you hear the Naoki girl go, I hate you. You hear me? I fucking hate you. No. And then you see the pad come up and she goes, no, let's not use the pad. I'll speak super slow so you understand. I'll admit in elementary, all right, I had no idea what things were like for you, but you didn't know what they were like for me and you didn't give a fuck. You just kept bringing your little notebook and everyone had to bend to your will and you were so fucking weird and annoying. So I ignored you and blew you off. But even that didn't work. You just kept coming around, kept wanting to be everybody's friend with your little fucking smile. And you're like, and then we grow up. And then you cried to the grown-ups, and that's how Shoya got in trouble. And he lost all his friends, friends, and you ruined his whole life. You get that? And then you hear, I'm sorry. Don't apologize. I don't want to be your fucking best friend. Nobody wants to be your friend. I hate you so much, and I'm sure you hate me too. So let's just shake on it, one hater to another, okay? And you hear, you're wrong. I don't hate you. I hate myself. Oh. What'd you say? What'd you say? Boom! She gets punched in the face. And you hear, sorry. And she's like, it's been five years and you haven't changed, you loser. And then the Ferris wheel ride ends and she walks off. This is, what kind of children? Anime Asian kids that are Yo! white. Yo! What? Also, who's Will? Yo, Will Peacock. What? Also, Will Peacock. Is this the kind of messaging we want out around about Asian people right now? <laughs> like, we're trying. <laughs> like, what is happening? Yo, what the fuck is happening, dog? I, out of every movie, yo, there's a billion movies that were made, and this is what you were like, man. You're I like, really. This want, is the one. I want Derek to say this shit for sure. Yo, and it's like I'm not saying that this wouldn't happen. It's just I can't imagine any group of kids that were like this deaf kid is not only are we going to bully her but we're going to also make her feel like she ruined our lives yeah for no, like fuck her like it's one thing that they're bullying her because it's like oh it's, it's funny she's different it's another thing to be like hey i hate you because your existence ruined my life you have no clue what you being deaf did to me and then she says she hates herself so i'm gonna punch her for it who are these people <laughs> what what <Yeah. laughs> Who's raising their child like this? I don't know, dog. I don't know. Uh, and then the, it made me mad is uh, the teacher knew that the kid was getting bullied and did nothing about it. Yeah, just waited until the principal was like, hey, apparently this girl's had eight of these yanked out of her fucking skull. Stop yanking her hearing aids out of her skull. The teacher's like, yeah, I should have said something. <laughs> I'm Still just we got distracted by this black man that just walked by. Yeah, our like, who the fuck is that? Like, oh my god, he looks magical. It's like a magical black janitor. You know? He did seem like that. Like he had a lot of wisdom. Well, he did. So Shoyo watches and he can't believe it, obviously. And he blames himself. Mm -hmm. So the next day at school, uh Is Shoku not go it doesn't go to the school though anymore. No. Okay. Shoya's at a different school. So Shoya's at school and uh he's talking to the red haired kid, and the red haired kid's like, Man, I can't believe that somebody would, uh, uh, he heard about what happened to the deaf mm -hmm. kid. Like, I can't believe somebody would bully that deaf kid. What's going on? Ooh, ooh. And then Shoya gets mad at this other girl for talking about it. And like all the kids are now confronting each other. And you hear the whole class listening. And you find out that Shoya used to, like in the class, the argument comes out that Shoya used to bully this deaf girl in elementary school. Yeah. Like this big thing comes it out. Came right? out. And then he, everybody's looking at him, and the whole class is kind of like talking about him. He sees all the X's, and he gets sick to his stomach, so he runs out the class. And his best friend's like, Yasho! Yasho! You know? Why so, is there a redheaded kid? That's the kid. I don't know. They just needed more kids. Okay. It's all anime. It's weird. Why? Will, why, Will? So... What? Will be Also, why? I know that there's good ones that everyone really. I've never heard of this one. I've never heard of this anime movie. I mean, the ratings I, were crazy. It's not that it's, it's not Netflix, good. But it I just, just wonder why. Like, like, did you just watch this Will Peacock and went, man, how funny would it be for Derek to say this? Or is this like you've been like, nigga, when is he gonna get to a silent voice? And then I didn't get to it, and you were like, fuck, if he's gonna keep telling Joanna, man, I'll pay for a silent voice myself. I mean, it is a really important message to get out there that, you know, deaf kids are getting bullied every and day. And don't beat the shit out of them. And don't beat the shit out of them. But I thought that that was a lesson we all could have, like, assumed. We, yeah, I don't I think... This is, this is like, hate crime level. Dude, it gets weirder. Okay. So, uh, he, he goes and he, like, feeds the ducks and he just thinks about how much he hates himself. Mm. And he goes and he sees Shoya and her sister, right? 
uh, Shoko and her sister. And all the friends are all there. And even the one girl who beat her up in the mm-hmm. Ferris wheel. And they're all arguing and they're trying to make amends. And they're blaming each other on whose fault it really is. It reminded me of that scene. I remember in Last Airbender where they're all like blaming each other on the beach. Mm-hmm. And they're figuring it out. And it was like, and it's really just a scene from The Breakfast Club. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. You know? So they're all having at it. And our boy Shoya starts going off on everybody. And he calls this one girl a coward for leaving uh, Shoko behind and you're you this one girl you just love the sound of your voice and you're just a bully and you're this and Yasha was like you know friend why are you saying all this he's like just shut up man I don't care about you you don't even know me he's like you don't mean that he's like just give me some space and everybody leaves right gosh so he looks at Shoya Shoya doesn't leave and then he's like yo you know next week is finally summer vacation school's out you want to go somewhere special and she smiles so the next day, you see the grandma of Yuzu and Shoya, and she's talking to the little sister. Is it Shoya or Shoko? Shoko. Sorry, yeah. the grandma of them. And she's talking to them, and she's saying how great of grandchildren they are. And But Yuzu, you need to focus on your own life and not your sister so much. Mm. Right? And they both kind of talk about that, and they make each other laugh. Uh, the next day, our boy Shoya is at work, right? Mm-hmm. And he's getting more bread for Shoko, and he waits for her at the pier, but she doesn't show. He's like, wonder, wonder where she's at. And he looks down and he sees Yuzu in like a nice outfit crying. He's like, what the fuck? Yuzu sees him and she wipes her tears and she runs up and they start. she starts like messing with him. And he's like, hey, I saw you crying down there. And he's like, oh, she's like, oh, don't worry about that. And he's like, no, what's going on? And she's like, it doesn't have anything to do with you. And he's like, yes, it does. I'm sure it does. And she's like, oh, you want to know? Well, come with me. And then he walks her and then he takes her all the way to the funeral home and they find out her grandma just died. What? Okay. Okay. So we see time pass and the family coping. The next day, him and Shoya go out for a walk and they go to muse- museums and they hang out. But this nigga's still in his head, all negative thoughts. Uh-huh. Just negative thoughts like, oh, you hate yourself, you should kill yourself, you're the worst. I think this is, I guess, am I watching this? It's like, oh, Will, is this a movie for like fucking losers or I guess depressed people? Is that another way to it put it? It does seem like a depressed person movie. Because like, I was like, nigga, this is not for me. Yeah, this movie sounds like. <sighs> it sounds like a song. It does sound like it's for Hassan. I almost am willing to guess Hassan seeing this movie. I'm sure, it's him. He's the main character. Um, but oh, dude. <laughs> Some people like sad movies. Yeah, they like. You them. know, like people who really like, um, uh, like what's that Jim Carrey movie where he's in love with uh, Rose? Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yeah. Some people are like really movie. into that movie and it is a good movie, but also it's like, yo, you are depressed. You, yeah, you got some shit if going on, If that's your bro. favorite movie. If you're like, that's my favorite movie, it's like, bruh, go yo, outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's the sun. <laughs> God, my God. So the next day, uh, you know, they're having fun and this nigga's all in his head. So you see him like, they start going out every day and you see him act fake. To like mm-hmm. try to get out of his head. Mm-hmm. Shoko invites him over for his mom's birthday and he comes over and he's like, Oh, you sure sure want me here? She's like, Probably not. And the mom comes home and she's like, Why is that boy here? You know? And they're like, Oh, mom, come on, it's a party. Just celebrate with us. So they sit and they all eat cake and they have fun. And the mother tells Yuzu that she entered her pictures that she was taking for a competition. Okay. She's like, Oh, mom. And he's like, It was your sister Shoko's idea. And Shoko smiles. Mm-hmm. So they invite Shoyo to see fireworks with him. So you see everybody all over the city watching these fireworks. All right. Yuzu and the mom are like, oh, we're going to go get snacks at like a vending like a machine, like a, like a, a vendor. Mm-hmm. OK. Shoko and Shoyo are talking and he says something about like on the lines of as if they were dating. And he's like, oh, shit, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. that it made it sound like we were dating. I didn't mean that. And then she's like, oh, it's OK. Don't worry. She's like, I have to leave and go study. And she leaves. All right. The sister and mom come back and they're like, where's Shoko? And he's like, oh, she had to go study. And the sister's like, oh, damn, I forgot my camera. Do you mind running back to the place and getting it? I don't want to miss the fireworks. And he's like, I don't mind. So he goes to her place. Okay. He knocks on the door. Shoko, are you home? I'm here to get Yuzu's camera. He opens the door. He sees the camera. He's like, oh, maybe I should charge it. And he goes to look for a charger. And he looks up and he sees her on the balcony. He's like, oh, there's Shoko. And she's looking at the fireworks. He's watching her. And then she stands up on the balcony. On the ledge. <gasps> no. And he's like, what is she doing? And then he's like, and you see there's just these beautiful fireworks behind her. And it, he goes, Shoko! Don't do it! And he runs and he trips and he falls. Shoko, no! And he gets up and you see like, as he gets up, he runs toward her and you see her. And then you see a curtain, like the wind blow a curtain in the way. And then when the curtain blows back, she's gone. 
What? <laughs> I know. What the fuck, man? Will Peacock, what is this movie, dog? This is so depressing. You wanted this? You wanted to pay $100 for this, you psychopath? Yeah, he's a psychopath. He knew he would be upset about it. He's yeah, like, you, oh, I'm sure he's laughing. I'm going to give them the movie with the people that want to kill themselves. And, and they do. It's like, all right, what was the fun of this movie? Jesus. Gosh, I hope the rest of you, you know, just enjoy life a little bit. And yeah, we'll send, man. like, movies that won't. Well, no, the other movies are not like this. A lot of the movies are movies I haven't seen, but I, I mean, I looked them all up. Uh, but they're not this. Don't break my heart every weekend, guys. Think of it now. You know what they're gonna do. <sighs> we should charge more for sad movies. Yeah. So you see the fireworks, <laughs> right? Just beautiful shots of these fireworks. The camera pans down. Our boy is holding on to her with one hand. He caught her. He has her by one arm. What? And he goes, you have to grab the railing. And he's barely holding on. And he's in his head. He goes, please, God, give me just one more ounce of strength. And I promise I won't run from my problems anymore. And starting tomorrow, I'll look everyone in the eye. And I'll listen when people speak. And I'll, I'll be better, God. Please, please. There it is. There it is. And he looks. And he looks at her. And he sees the scar on her ear from when she was a kid. And he thinks, damn, there's that scar that I gave her years ago. Did I ever even apologize for that? Or he's thinking that. And then right then he starts kind of pulling her up. And as he, he pulls her up, he finally gets her up. And as he finally does, he falls. Wait, so where is she safe and he's falling? Yeah. And he's How falling. did that even happen? So because when you see him on the ledge, he's because pull, he's pulling like with all of his strength. Yeah. And when he finally gets to the point where she can grab on it, like he he goes okay, over okay. like that. And then what happens? He falls. He dies. He falls. Oh, okay. So as he falls, he he like you see he lands and it like as he lands it like turns into like an egg cracking into like a pan. Oh, so it's like the Miguel situation. In- exactly. <laughs> and you see his niece and like uh, he, he sees his niece and he sees fireworks and he sees himself falling into water uh. and you hear him go, "It's cold. It's warm." And then you see like blood rising in the water and then lights start flashing, fades to black. <sighs> We live in a world where children are trying to kill themselves all the time. <laughs> Why are we encouraging this? I don't know, boo-boo. Or glorifying it and making movies about it. Making anime porn about it. This is what this is. So Yuzu comes to the hospital, mm-hmm. sees the mom. The moms see each other and they start apologizing. And the Shoko's mom is crying and starts begging the other mom for forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Okay. And she's like, I'm so sorry. He was just trying to save Shoko. We're so sorry. And then the mom's like, it's okay. It's okay. Please get up. You know, cut to outside. Naoki, the bully girl, yeah. is beating the shit out of Shoko. It should have been you. It should be you in the hospital, Ben. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You all you can say is sorry. Bam. Bam. You death fucking loser. You sit there in your own world. You're the most selfish person in the world. Bam. Just beating the shit out of her. Right then she goes to slap her again and her arm gets caught. She turns around. It's Shoko's mom. Shoko's mom slaps the shit out of this bitch. Yeah, she better. What? <laughs> Sam, all right, if you catch your daughter getting beat up like that after that, what, are you hitting that little 16-year-old girl too? Hell yeah. She's 16? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're hitting her. Yeah, my kid is deaf. I have a, you have an out. And that holds up in court. <laughs> my kid is deaf. And I saw her beating her, so I had to teach that. I don't know what else you wanted me to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear the girl go, you must be the loser's mother. And then they Who start, is this kid? They start fighting. The other mom has to come out and go, that's enough. That's enough. She breaks it up. Shoko sees the other mom and just starts holding on to her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. And she's just cr- unbearable crying. Like, he, ah, just heaving crying as the other mom has to console her. There was a point when he was watching the movies where I just heard him yell out, what the fuck? Yeah. And I thought that maybe he broke in the computer or something, but now I'm really understanding. Why I said that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it was a genuine what the fuck. Because I was like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? So you see the little sister Yuzu talking to her mom saying, because there's all these pictures of dead like bugs in her room mm-hmm. and frogs. And she was like, I thought if I showed her enough dead stuff, she wouldn't want to do it. She wouldn't want to kill herself and she's crying to her mom at night. What? 
yo. I don't want to oversimplify it, but it, people need to be exercising more and out in the sunlight and talking to your kids. Yeah, that's true. The fat friend, his Yasho, the best friend. Yeah. T- uh, Tomohiro. He uh, is crying to Shoko and like saying how he's definitely going to wake up and it'll all be okay because he's his best friend in the world mm-hmm. and he won't leave him. You know, and then uh, you see Shoko and like all the friends are all together and Shoko says, like what happened and they all tell her like hey you have to accept yourself girl like we love you too and they all start giving her love Mm -hmm. right and then she goes to every single person and starts like making amends Mm -hmm. and like like it's like okay with herself and i'm sorry that i did that and she goes to the bully girl the meow meow club girl naoki she goes outside of her job every day waiting to talk to her and days pass and she doesn't talk to her and then finally on a rainy day naoki's walking home and shoko comes up with an umbrella Mm -hmm. this is after she beat her ass a couple times this yeah. girl's too why nice. You, yeah, why don't you just like, you know, let it go? Yep. So Shoya, Shoko dreams of Shoya dying and she wakes up and she runs to the pier. Shoya finally wakes up and he goes, no. And he like wakes up thinking like, no, Shoko. Mm-hmm. And then he wakes up, he's in the hospital and he rips his wires off and he's like, mom, and there's nobody's around. So he, he, he rips everything off and he also goes and he leaves the hospital and he runs to the pier and they see each other and they drop to their knees and they both start talking. And they talk. He talks about how selfish he's been and how it's his fault. She's like, "No, it's my fault. I'm sorry. I thought if I disappear, you know, that it would make everything better." And he's like, "I thought that too." And they're crying. He's like, "Shoko, look at me." He goes, "We talked while I was dreaming. I talked to you. He goes, I was ready to give up, and then you made me realize not to end things. Like life may put us through difficult times, but it doesn't mean it's worth dying over." And then he goes, "Shoko," and he grabs her hands. I was hoping you'd teach me to live. And then their, their, their faces get red. And he goes, ah, that's the creepiest thing I ever said. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And she laughs so hard. And then they connect their pinkies like this. And they Aww. look at each other. So he comes uh, he comes home and he sees his little niece, Maria. And she's like, show, show, show. You died. You died. And he's like, I didn't die, little one. Your show, show is back to life. I promise. The little Maria. Yeah. They're not mad that he just walked out the hospital? I guess not. So he finds out the bully girl, Naoki, was at the hospital every day. And they go to talk, and the Naoki girl tells her, like, she's like, hey, just so you know, I still hate Shoko, and I always will, <laughs> but we can be cool. And he's like, thanks. And she walks off, and she has an X on her face again, and it, like, as she walks off, it falls off. Uh-huh. All right? He visits his mom at, uh, at his job, and Shoko's mom's there. And his mom's a hairdresser, so Shoko's mom's getting her hair done. And everybody's being cool with each other, right? Mm-hmm. Yuzi's upstairs, and she apparently won the picture contest. Oh, cool. And he goes and he helps her. But her grades are terrible, though, so he's helping her with her studies. He goes to school. Like, the new school year starts, mm-hmm. and Shoko's at his school with him. And it's the first day, and all the kids are looking at him. And he hears kids go, that's the kid who jumped. That's the kid who, that's the kids who wanted to kill themselves. Oh, that's him. And all the exes show back up on everybody's faces. Yeah. And he gets all nervous, right? And she says, it's okay. It's okay. And she walks him to class. And he opens the door and the X is on everyone's face and his stomach hurts and he runs to the bathroom and he's all scared. His best friend, Yash, the Tomohito, runs to the bathroom. He's like, Yasho. And he opens the door. He's like, hey, what's up, man? How's everything going? And he's not looking at him. And he goes, why won't you look at me? He goes, I don't know. I just, I made myself a promise. I'd look people in the eye and I'm still too chicken. Yasho. And he looks at him and the best friend's crying like a baby. He goes, I didn't want to be alone. He goes, I can't lose you. And he hugs him to death. Like, and he goes, it's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. He goes, it's, he goes, you're a good friend. And he comes out and all his other friends are there. And they have a gift for him. And it's like a thousand paper, like, mach, like mache cranes and stuff. And the bully girl, like, like says something. Like, she hears him talk. And she's like, enough sappy talk. Oh, my God. Like, why are you guys always making sappy shit? You're, and then she looks at Shoko and she calls her a moron in sign language. And then Shoko calls her a moron back. And everybody's like, oh, you did it, girl. And then she's like, whatever. And she storms off. I don't get Naoki's character. Naoki makes no sense. Yeah, she reminds me of um, the Triceratops in... Sarah. Sarah, yeah. Just a bitch for no just reason like, at why? all. like, why? Just... Why? You don't like fun? That's just you? You're, everything is bad? Like, people are trying to kill themselves. It does remind me of Cobra Kai, too, that, like, 
kids try to kill themselves and things are horrible, but everybody's just at school acting normal. And it's like, what the fuck? I guess that's, but that's how high school is. Kids I guess. are trying to kill themselves and everyone's acting like it's normal. Yeah, it's weird. We used to just fight. It's so much more normal. You fight, it's over. Well, that's happening too. Both things are happening. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, he looks over at all his friends and Shoya's like, I have a favor to ask all of you. Would you like to go with me together, all of us, to the festival? And they're all like, yeah. And they walk around and he looks up and and everyone's ex starts falling from their face in the mm-hmm. whole festival. And he feels comfortable and he starts breathing and happy music starts playing. And he starts like sobbing like a baby sobbing, like in the middle of this festival, just crying. The shape of voice, a silent voice. What's the shape of voice? Remember in the beginning, it said like, uh, it, it was like a, a something of voice. It was like saying all these different things. Oh, uh, so maybe that's the original yeah. title? No, like in the beginning of the movie, it said. Uh, a shape of voice. Yeah, point uh, point of the voice. And then it was like the shape of voice. And then it ends like the shape of voice or something. Okay. And then the movie's a silent voice. But I hate that he, it ends. I hated this. I hated this ending of him crying in the middle of the festival just like a baby. And then that's it. Like it's supposed to be this happy, cheery thing. It's like, what the fuck is this movie, Will Peacock? Yeah, dude. Two hour, ten minute movie. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Nonsense. I love the beginning. I genuinely... I, did, did, were, you, were you into the beginning? I was into it in the beginning, but the as middle, it went it on, it's lost like... Me. It's like, this is just excessive. Yeah. It's like, what is this shit? Is this a... It just felt like um like a telenovela almost. Just sort of just kept going. It just kept going. It, it kept going way too long. A lot of the shots were unnecessary. The beginning... I, the first 30 to 40 minutes, amazing. Second hour and 20 minutes, fucking dog shit. I didn't like it. Uh, sorry, Will Peacock. I hate to say that, and because I'm sure you're like, this is like your favorite fucking movie in some weird fucking way. I hated it. It is a good movie. I know it's not like some horrible movie because the beginning is good and the writing is good and the anime is beautiful. Mm-hmm. But ugh, I hate this kind of depression shit. Derek doesn't believe in depression. No, get off your ass, you fuckface. I We're believe in depression. Depression is real. I'm in my head all the time, and I do get sad. But it's like, yo, I can't blame that on people. It's me. So it's just who you are. Uh, he gets, Fuck face. Don't get depressed. Get angry. Like, get angry. <laughs> get angry, bro. Fucking deal with your shit with an emotion. Uh, uh, emotion you, is depression. That's not an emotion. That's just bitchness. How'd you feel uh, about the movie? Um, it didn't make me feel good. That's for sure. Um, I wanted to really like it because it's, you know, it's an interesting topic. It uh, really is. And I don't feel like we talk about Deaf, people who are deaf very often or people who or make a movie about them completely, yeah. yeah and i think that's interesting um, deaf girl got her ass kicked this whole movie that really bothered me the the bullying the physical bullying when yeah. what moon when did this movie come out when did this movie come out because it seems so like technological and that they're texting each other 2016 yeah, I just Which don't also believe like, yeah. that kids are physically bullying each other at that point anymore. It's all cyberbullying. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it is, but this is ridiculous. Also, 2016, which is funny because that's also when Sing Street came out. So it's like, hey, Will Peacock, what happened to you in 2016? What was going on, dude? Yeah, that connected you with these random ass movies. I do like that you send random ass movies. And Will, you know I can't wait to do your next movie, but yeah. this is fucking weird. We do love you, Will. We do love you, Will Peacock. You started um, a, you started a whole new trend for the Bean Mafia, and it's all on you. We thank you. Everyone else uh, who listened, if you want this to be your episode and you don't want to have to hear some weird fucking movie like this, it could be a way cooler movie that you like. <laughs> Send it in to Spoil the Beans. Let us know what you want us to do. $100, I will tell your movie is the bonus. Uh, Sam, you got any parting words for this bonus? Um, your life is important and precious, and um, don't take it lightly and don't throw it away. We love you. Absolutely. Yeah. We do love you. <laughs>